How you doing? We're going to introduce the y equals root x square root function. Okay, and this is another video from my 2020 distance learning series. We're going to introduce it and also talk about how it shifts left, right, up, and down. And we're going to do it on Desmos. Check it out. y equals radical x, that function there, and it is a sideways parabola, and it's only half of a sideways parabola, right? Just check it out and try this. Come to Google here, just open a browser, and we'll go to Desmos, like always. Open that up, start graphing, and when I set the axis, I like to go to this little spanner wrench thingy here, and go step one for the x-axis, and step one for the y-axis, and uncheck minor grid lines like so. When we're looking at the function y equals radical. Now to get the radical symbol come down here and you've got like a little um, encyclopedia of symbols you can enter. And where's the radical symbol? Where is it? Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Radical and then type in x and you can say bye bye to that and there it is. It's actually a sideways parabola and it's only half of it. Okay. Uh, if you had y equals y equals, if you did another one, I might just copy this, paste this in here. If I put in a minus in the front there, I actually get uh, the parabola that's the bottom one. Okay, so if you have y equals negative radical x, it's an upside down parabola, just the bottom half. But if you do positive radical x, it's just the top half. Okay, but we're just looking at this one here. And what happens if you put a number at the front here, like a, at a slider? So this is y equals 1 times radical x. What happens if you had the, the function y equals 2 root x? It would look like this. And it stretches up. So you see it's changing its shape as we do this. We say this is a non-rigid transformation. Okay, so it goes up and down like so. All right. And another thing that you could do here, just might take that back to 1. Might add in... Um, Take the A away, get rid of that, cancel that, back to Y equals radical X. What I might do here is um, X minus 2, what does that do? Minus 3, minus 4, minus 5, minus 6, what if I do plus? Plus 6, so I'm going to make this X, y, uh, y equals X minus H, and let's add a slider in here for H. So the H value, what happens when H changes? It's a horizontal shift. So you notice that shape is not changing here. When the shape is not changing, we say it's a rigid transformation. Okay, so the H value makes it go left or right there. And if I get rid of that, cancel the H here. What happens if I add a number outside? So notice I'm going to do plus K now. Notice that the K is not inside the square root. Okay, that's important there. And what does K do? Uh, if I... So this is y equals root x plus 1. What's the difference? Can you see it's one unit higher? What if I do k equals 2? It goes up 2, 3, 4, 5. And notice again the shape is not changing. So this is a rigid transformation. So you can move the function up and down like that. Okay. 